subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss another update from India Forums. Oh, what was that movie that you? Do you always... know mine? Okay, let's play this. His I... is Batman Returns. Romantic movies. <laughs> you don't have it. Romantic movie. He hates watching romantic movie. He's like, this is why I always fought with my sister. She always watched this kind of movies. I don't understand. Watch Batman Returns. <laughs> watch Spider Man. Watch all the Marvel okay. films. Came out of Big Boss, and luckily we made it to her best friend's wedding. And okay. she was dancing with a friend. And in and the middle of the crowd, she just somehow slipped and uh, fell down. Tripped. Oh yeah, she could be one of the minions. Yeah, yeah. Banana. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how did the two of you first meet? Uh, we met at a restaurant uh, in Andheri, Oshibara, in the evening, and the story started from stomach to heart to eyes. No eyes to stomach to heart. <laughs> that way, yeah. Okay. What is the most romantic thing you've ever done for each other? I proposed to her in front of Eiffel Tower. Now you have to top that. I I, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I think he takes the point here. Okay. Uh, what is your favorite thing about being in a relationship with each other? Uh, for me, uh, he's my best friend and I yeah. can talk anything with him and I can just keep talking and keep laughing with him. Yeah. I think for that you? fits perfect. No, I think we are, like you said, we are best friends, lovers, partners, everything. So. Okay. Uh, if you could plan a dream day for your partner, what would it be? Uh, beach yeah. with lots of the same yeah? Thing. yeah, beach with lots of candles very quiet beach we again yeah, just don't the two like of too us, much of people yeah. around two of us nicely lit with uh, those big uh, pillar candles and a small round table and just Let's watching the that. beautiful sunset right okay okay what is the most memorable valentine valentine's day you ever had together ah ouch see i like once we went to i don't know where exactly it was somewhere outside bombay uh, uh, the hills, yeah. Bandadara. Yeah, that was very nice. We went to some small cottage and we had a small candlelight dinner outside. That was very nice. Manas. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How do you keep the spark alive in your relationship? Spark alive. I think uh, when it's the right compatibility, uh, you don't have to do you don't anything, have to force, it, force think, anything. Yeah. Uh, that's the best way to keep the spark alive. And you have to find the best friend in your lover. Then it, it is like you're yeah, talking to your time best to friend. Each, uh, for each other. Yeah. yeah, time. Very important. Okay. Uh, what is the most thoughtful gift you've ever received? Thoughtful I gift uh, that I ever received. It's not a gift, but yes, it's the most thoughtful thing. And I'm, the most I'm still waiting for mine. I mean, the <laughs> meaningful thing I received from him. So okay. I'm still waiting. Yeah. You how keep you waiting your, now. How do you show your partner that you love them? Uh, how do I show? I think just like that. Just come, come, come. I show, I show. No, I think. I think there's lots of ways. It's not only that. Of course, that is a very important part. But, but after every fight, or if we are having a bad day, up. you know that's how I just do. Baby, it's okay. Come here, come here. I, I just need a hug now. I think that just physical warmth gives yeah. you a lot of uh, energy. Energy, yeah. Right. Okay. So, do you have any Valentine's Day traditions? Okay. No. no, we always do something completely different. So we went out on a trip. I think we to the mountains, to which yeah. we were talking about. Sometimes so, we were in Goa. Yeah. Okay. What is the most unusual place you've ever had a romantic moment? Footpath. Oh yeah. In Andheri. Okay. Uh, what is your partner's love language? Yeah, I think that's. I think uh, he is quite physical. Yeah, love languages. Even if he understands that I'm uh, angry, he would, would just he would just also do. It's okay. It's okay. And like holding hands. Yeah. Very important. Yeah. Okay. Very physical. No, the same thing. I think she needs sometimes uh, a hug. Maybe if it's a, even if it's a good day or if it's a bad day. I think. Uh, yeah, some warmth. Very... Okay. So if you could go on a romantic vacation together, where would it be? Maldives. I want to go to the Maldives, yeah. Oh, we said it together, Maldives, yeah. So now it has to happen. No, that's something which is on our list. I have yeah. not been there, unfortunately, okay. but yeah. What's your favorite memory together as a couple? Too many. Um, Mostly uh, on trips because our trips are very special. Like uh, we, when we went together to Amsterdam, it was very funny, quite Barcelona funny. was nice. Barcelona was Sweden also. was nice. Like, 
like she said it's mostly travel travel mainly. trips even uh, the first time when we went to goa the way yeah. he was get, trying to get tan and i'm like oh god <laughs> i'm already tan i would be like <laughs> koila so uh, yeah so there are lots of uh, travel memories which But are very special to us sometimes also small us. memories right i think we had also amazing uh, nights just sitting on the balcony great talk so it doesn't always have to be something big yeah um, of course those are very special even to me yeah. but uh, sometimes even the small things uh, really matter okay so what is the most adventurous date you have ever been on adventurous, adventurous? date uh... i think we should plan one Yeah actually so i already told him that i want to do bungee jumping which he is not <laughs> yeah see look at his expression so the, the day he is ready for that bungee jumping together yeah very recently i was watching a video on instagram a couple did it together oh my god it was so exciting baby so that we can do but i will not do it alone i might yeah but... so that would be our most i think adventurous date we want to have a fight the night Okay. What is the cheesiest pickup line your partner has ever used on you? Uh, that I don't think I'm not cheesy. Of course. <laughs> so he he uh, he told me uh, recently that yeah yeah there were a few this uh, Brazilian girls who were texting me because you know like <laughs> I am so attractive. That was when you went big boss. I just wanted to make you a little jealous. Yeah. So the cheesiest line he ever told me was like some Brazilian chicks were messaging him. <laughs> it was not true, but it was and, just and was uh, dying for his attention to make me feel jealous. Okay. And has Shikuta used anyone you? I'm sure she has, but nothing. Nothing which I can share right now. I think. <laughs> okay. Next question. <laughs> So, what is your partner's favorite romantic movie and why? Oh, what was that movie that you? Do you know mine? Okay, let's play this. Let's play this. I'll I'll say which one is yours. His I'm... is uh, Batman Returns. Romantic movie. <laughs> you don't have romantic movie. He hates watching romantic movie. He's like, this is why I always fought with my sister. She always watched this kind of movies. I don't understand. Watch Batman Returns. <laughs> watch Spider Man. Watch all the Marvel okay. films. So his his favorite no, romantic film. No, you have made me Batman watch Returns. this one movie with you. Uh, I think you cried. Oh, what was the name? See, look at it. P.S. I love yeah, you. Yeah, P.S. I love you. It's she, a very he's, famous. He's writing these letters. And, yeah, it's uh, a very famous. She made me watch it. It's a great movie, but it's a beautiful. I prefer movie. the other kinds, but yeah, sometimes once in a while we are watching one. Okay, what is the most ridiculous thing your partner has ever bought? Ridiculous thing. Luckily, she's very sensible in, in, in what she buys. I have to I'm say. I'm thinking about you. <laughs> oh, I know what I bought for him. Most <laughs> ridiculous thing. The first Valentine, which oh, I yeah. already told you that I bought a cap for him. He told me, "Let's not start gifts and all. Let's like, uh, let's not get." It does not have to be on a specific. Things, it does not know? have to be on a specific date. Can be on any random. Any random. Day, you know? Then it's at least a surprise. Right. So that's how I wanted to start. Yeah, and let's not start like okay, if it's Valentine's or if it's anniversary, we we have we need materialistic things to please each other. So I still bought a cap for him because he likes caps. It's four and a half years, and he never ever wore that cap. Because Even it's too small, baby. Even for one minute, no, baby, you can adjust it from the back. It looks uh, pathetic, but yeah, so that we. we so can. he never wore that. That was the most ridiculous gift I think I bought for him. For me, I don't think. You always got very sensible gifts. I think you need to start gifting me more, so that there would be some no, gifts I'm, which I'm would be ridiculous. No, I'm very good in gifting. I would say. Which is some gifts which would be very nice. It was just I was very sensible in what I bought. Oh, so. True. Uh, so if your partner could eat only one food for the rest of their life, what would it be? I know what I need. I will say pizza. No, I could not survive. I think I need. Yeah, I would need pasta. Pizza. Or pizza, and then I would need some milk. Milk is very important. Some orange yeah, juice. Yeah, but that's not these food. Are, but these are food items. It's okay. Yeah. These are my top three. Okay. If your partner was stranded on a desert island, what three things would they want with them? Desert island. Does she have network? Deserted island. <laughs> <laughs> so what three things he needs? Yeah. She will need a pillow for sure. Without a pillow, she would not be. 
Okay. We need a pillow. A mirror. <laughs> and? You say something. I'll tell about you. You need a pillow, a mirror, and some cooking utensils would be good. Okay. Very boring. Uh, I think he will need a... He will need fire. See, I, I would think good for yeah, you. I, because I'm a sensible guy, you would just pick random stuff which will not help us. <laughs> he will need fire, uh, some coconut water and... Then we get on the island, baby. Yeah, so coconuts yeah, okay. from the island. No, but I'm bringing something to the island. Coconut water and what else? <laughs> what else can I get for you? There's no network, so phone is not at all would work. Some games which are which are already preloaded so that he can play the whole day. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what is the most embarrassing thing your partner has ever done in front of you? What's the most embarrassing? I think we already clarified what I did in oh, front of her, okay. right? And what about me? What did I do? The most embarrassing thing? Something come to your mind? What? <laughs> right? Yeah. So she came out of Big Boss, we went to a wedding. It's just one... The first time when I Nothing uh, overly embarrassing, but I found it a little funny. So uh, she came out of Big Boss and luckily we made it to her best friend's wedding. And okay. uh, she was dancing with a friend. And in and the middle of the crowd, she just somehow slipped and uh, she just... Fell down. Tripped. Yeah, over. so uh, it was uh, extremely funny because I was standing very straight and standing from standing straight, I fell down completely on my head and... And everyone straight. was watching. Anyway, anyway, everyone was looking at her because uh, people have seen her in the show. I was dancing very But it was hard. very funny. It was and not it embarrassing was, actually. It was my best friend's wedding and I was a little tipsy to be very honest. And uh, yeah, my lehenga was also too long. So I can blame the lehenga as well. That was very funny. Okay. So what is your partner's go-to dance move at a party? I don't dance. Uh, <laughs> no, he d does this. What, no, what we is have. Called? Like we we dance sometimes, but. Uh, yeah. What is that step I like called? spinning her a bit. Spinning, yeah, and then this. But she's a very good dancer, so she has ball many, dancing, right? She has many uh, favorite uh, dance steps. So, yeah. Okay, uh, if your partner were a cartoon character, who would they be? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Oh. I will say Mr. Sponge. Who's Mr. Sponge? <laughs> Who's Mr. That Sponge? That yellow character. That's SpongeBob. SpongeBob. <laughs> That's Sponge. Okay, I'm Mr. Sponge. Yeah, that yellow guy. Cartoon. Who do you think you are? She looks like Pocahontas. What? M Pocahontas. Pocahontas. Oh, yeah, yeah. People she will looks... not even know who, who what is Pokemon. Otherwise, no minions. Oh yeah, she could be one of the minions. Yeah, yeah. Banana. <laughs> okay. What is the most ridiculous nickname your partner has ever given you, or a nickname? It's not ridiculous. Mine is little difficult. Yeah, that's what I have given you. And you have... his is little stinky because. Oh. oh shut up! This is this is you have to cut that out. That... <laughs> That, that has never been mentioned before. What random stuff you're making up? <laughs> I'm not making up. Because he farts randomly no. after eating so much of pizza and pasta. What nonsense. Of course. <laughs> that I, this has never been mentioned before, ever. Not so even to me. His nickname is Little Stinky. Okay, that's what you just made up. Okay. <laughs> okay, lastly, what is the best advice of, what is the best piece of relationship advice your partner has ever given you? Don't fight with me. Oh yeah, that's a very good one. That's so she she has a very good energy or very good stamina in fighting, so that's a good advice. <laughs> <laughs> one night, I have to tell you guys this story. One night, uh, we came back after dinner and I was sitting. So this person <laughs> has take out his phone. I was very upset. I was shouting about something and I was talking, 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 shouting, shouting, shouting. And this person takes out his phone. He uh, starts the voice recorder and he records me for one and a half hours. And next morning, he makes me. Listen to that so that I repent or I feel very sorry and very bad that 
when I was angry, certain things I said, which I should not have said. And, and he, you forget. That that's and, the... and I was like, okay, 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 I'm repeating the same thing again and again. Okay, I get it that when I'm angry, I repeat the same thing again and again. You don't have to make me listen the whole recorded audio for one and a half hours. No, 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 listen. How many times <laughs> you keep saying, listen, listen to your own voice. So he did that. Oh, what was that movie that you Do you always... know mine? Okay, let's play this. His is... Batman Returns. Romantic movies. <laughs> you don't have any romantic movies. He hates watching romantic movies. He's like, this is why I always fought with my sister. 